Hi, and thanks for tuning in. My name is Daniel Bogdanoff, and today we're giving away nine prizes. You can sign up daily using the link in the description. And today we also have another test gear tip from Aaron. But before we get to that tip, I wanted to let you know that we also have a webcast today looking at DDR5 technology. This webinar will help you identify the challenges introduced by DDR5, cover some of the differences between DDR4 and DDR5, and explore options for physical or transmitter and receiver testing. If you're looking to implement DDR5, this is a must watch. There's a link to register for that in the description and you can also view it after the fact. You don't have to watch it live today. And now it's time for a test gear tip with Aaron who will walk through making gated FFT measurements with the scope. There are many cases where you might need to zoom in on different portions of your signal to make measurements. Like when you have a packet consisting of multiple pulses or when you have a frequency hopping signal and you have to verify the different frequency components. Gated measurements and gated FFTs can be used when you want to focus on a small portion of your large signal. So let's look at this packet of pulses as our first example. First and foremost, I had to set my trigger up correctly using the trigger hold off. If you miss my daily tip about trigger holdoffs, make sure you go back to understand how that works and why you want to use it. All right, so here's the problem we have. I need to know what the pulse width is of each of the pulses in the packet. But you can see that if I turn on a positive pulse width measurement, it's only able to measure on that very first pulse. Now if I press the magnifying key, we can see the original scaling along the top and the zoomed in portion on the bottom of the screen. I can adjust that zoomed in window by using the horizontal knobs and I'll center that window around my first pulse. If I go back to the measurement menu, I can set the measurement window to zoom. And now the oscilloscope is only making measurements in this zoomed in portion on the bottom half of the screen. So you can see as I scroll through each of these pulses using the zoom window, the measurement jumps to that pulse. So that allows us to individually measure each of these pulses. You can do something very similar with FFTs. So if I have a frequency hopping signal, I need to be able to verify that the frequency changes to the correct value at the correct moment. Well, to do that, I have to be able to capture a long time span so that I can see multiple occurrences of the changing frequency. I then need to zoom in on portions of that signal where the frequency hop occurs. So if I get the scaling set up correctly and set my zoom window, I can turn on the FFT and go to more FFT and then to FFT gating. Now we can scroll through the signal and analyze the various frequency peaks. These are just a couple examples of how the gating capability can be really useful. Share the ways that you think gating can help you in the comments below. And if you'd like to learn more about how to set up an FFT, check out the FFT Scopes University video. And there's a card for that video and a link in this video's description. And now it's time to pick some winners. Each day we're giving away a scope, a couple handheld DMMs, a couple packs of probes, a bench view license, and a bonus prize every day. Today the bonus prize is some of these three of these triple output power supplies. Three because they're triple output power supplies. They're awesome. Tomorrow we're giving away more of the one gigahertz touchscreen scopes. Today's winners, the first winner of a DSOX 200 megahertz 1000X series scope is Marcin Boulandra. Congratulations, Marcin. The DMMs, two of these U1233As will go to Michael Noonan and Kunichu Aku Aka Akashi. The Benchview license goes to Carolina Tran. The probes go to Paul Hartman and Bernard Groys. The power supplies, the triple output power supplies that are bonus today, and I think we're giving away some next week. Also, there's a whole list of the prize breakdown in, in the description on a blog post. Those power supplies go to Benjamin Schnabel, Norifumi Yoshida, and Michael McDonald. Congratulations to our winners. We'll be in touch with you in the next 48 hours. Make sure to subscribe to this channel and hit the little bell to get notified when we have new videos. I'm Daniel Bogdanoff, and I'll see you at the same time tomorrow.